So the Nuggets need – the biggest thing on the Nuggets is, like, they need a number two behind Jokic, right? And right. obviously Jamal Murray is going to come back at some point. We don't know if Michael Porter Jr. is ever going to come back, which is super sad. But Nashawn Bones Highland, the 26th overall pick from Virginia Commonwealth, looks pretty good so far in his rookie year. Is, is he a guy that is going to have potential to be like a number two um, in Denver ever? So he, he's one guy. Now the other guy I'm looking at is Cam Thomas, who was actually drafted right after Bones Highland. And he's in Brooklyn and he's behind Kyrie. But like, is he somebody who could slide in maybe if they trade Harden or something like that? Um, who, who do you like? Uh, between those two guys, as like if you had to, if you had to buy their card, knowing what you know about the Cam factors Thomas. of sports card investing, okay, it's not close for me. Why Cam um, Thomas? Why isn't it close? Go for it. So, Bones Highland is it, that's that's how you say it correctly. Yeah. Yep. Um, he has has the fortunate um, scenario right now where he gets to play with Jokic, right? So, and not that. Not that Cam Thomas isn't getting to play with stars, because he is, but they're very different stars. Jokic, one, anytime he catches the ball on the elbow, which it seems like he does 45 times a game, every single defender that's around him takes at least a step towards him, which makes it so much easier for these role players and anyone that can spot up in the corner to have solid games. And if you can defend well, um, offense is going to come so easy to you because of what Jokic is, his vision, uh, the presence he commands and all that. Um, so I think it's been a lot easier for him to show his ability more so than Cam Thomas. Um, but Cam Thomas is almost the opposite, right? He's playing with all these stars that are very ball centric. Um, and the fact that we see these spurts from him and uh, I don't know if it was summer league, but I'm pretty sure he had a couple games in a row um, in the summer league where he dropped like 35 and it was like the first player to ever do it. Uh, that was a rookie. So um, I think it's more impressive to see what Cam Thomas is doing, especially because he almost is in a scenario where if you're a young role player in a team with a bunch of stars that are very ball centric, um, it's difficult for those guys to show what they can do. And the fact that we're having the same conversation as someone who has a facilitator to help his game um, to me, that speaks volumes. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, you're right. And this is why I needed to talk to you because not only do you understand the NBA and all these little intricacies, but they do relate to the hobby big time. They do relate to sports card investing. Like the difference that you just pointed out between Cam Thomas and Bones Highland is actually one where um, there is a, there is a line. And if you can create your own shot and be the guy, you you have a, a, the sky's the limit in terms of your ceiling on your card prices versus like, like you're, what you're saying about Bones, where if, if he's a role player, now he might be a flashier role player than some, but if he's just a role player, then he's going to have a, a really low ceiling on his, on his card prices. So that makes a ton of sense. So uh, great having you on, man. Really appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I enjoyed uh, talking. Obviously, it's good to speak with you. Um, I'd love to do it again sometime. So hopefully we can uh, find a date that I can uh, wake up at 530 again um, and we can make it work. But I appreciate you having me. Um, tell Kate I said hello and then we'll talk soon we will do sports card strategy show with Paul Hickey and Connor Barnett brought to you by marketmoversapp.com by sports card investor go there save 20% by using the promo code no off season all lowercase and when you pair that with our investment report at nooffseason.com slash invest you have the analysis and the data that you need to make your sports card investment decisions. And uh, thanks again for watching and listening. And um, one more thing for Connor. Uh, I see the Sawgrass poster in the back. So when I'm back in Tennessee, we might need to link up and play some golf. Absolutely. Uh, I played in 30 degrees. one thing I don't do enough of. Yeah. Did you really? 30 degrees. Yeah. So Where we need to make play? it happen. Uh, it's over in Trenton, Georgia. Like. 25, 30 minutes from downtown Chattanooga. So greens were rock hard. It was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you got some swings in, man. All right. Thanks again. Talk to you yep. soon. Yes, sir. Thanks, Paul. See you, man.